What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today we have a very special treat for a figure review. Today we are looking at the Ultraman Vinyl Odyssey series, Jiris by Seismic Toys. Now, this is from a smaller company, and um, I recently uh, am friends with the guy, Chris Olio. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. But um, he's he has an awesome team that started Seismic, and they just started producing these uh, Sophobi, you know, uh, vinyl, you know, figures that resemble kind of like bull marks, marmots, stuff like that. And he recently got licensing from, you know, Subaraya Productions uh, to do some Ultraman Kaiju. And the first Kaiju they did was Jiris here. And what a, you know, home run. They knocked it out of the park. The sculpt just looks great. I was, uh, you know, I sealed the deal that I wanted this figure after I saw Nick, uh, Nick Adams from the Monster Report interview Chris and kind of like talk about seismic toys and what they are doing and whatnot with these vinyl figures. So if you want to go check that out, go uh, go check that video out. It's going to be on the Mo the YouTube channel, The Monster Report. And um, I forget what Nick titled the video, but I know that seismic toys is in the title. And it really wasn't that too long ago. So if you go to his channel and you look it up, you can see that whole interview and uh, see the whole process of everything that's going on. And Chris and his team is uh, also working on that video game Dawn of the Monsters that's coming out. Um, pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm hoping I am able to pick up a copy. And uh, because it looks really fun. Who doesn't love kaiju fighting games, right? But anyway, let's get on into today's figure review. The Ultraman Vinyl Odyssey line, Jiris by Seismic Toys. Just to get started with the header card here, nice silhouette artwork of Jiris, 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 however you want to pronounce it. I'll probably end up pronouncing it both ways throughout the review. <laughs> anyway, here you got the Seismic Toys logo up here in the corner. You also have the Subaraya logo. And then, of course, you have Subaraya Productions, you know, the uh, the trademark, you know, licensing sticker, the official licensing sticker. There we go. It's showing up there. So very cool there. On the back side of the header card, you got the Seismic Toys logo again. Another nice, you know, wide shot silhouette picture of Jiris. Uh, I believe this is 151 out of 180. He doesn't have too many of these guys left. So if you're debating, go to www.seismictoys.com and pick yourself up one of these guys. Um, you, they, they're, they're not cheap, but they are reasonable for a vinyl figure like this. They go for about 130 and then shipping uh, varies depending on where you live. But... If you're interested in one, I think he only has a few left, and then he has a few uh, Jiris that are just the clear, like, yellow vinyl. <clears throat> but then there's also tons of other figures on SeismicToys.com as well. So again, be sure you check out www.SeismicToys.com. Chris and his team are awesome, and, uh, you know, I'm very happy to have made, you know, their acquaintances and that we are all like, you know, connected in a way. It's always nice to connect with other Godzilla fans. And it's just nice to have connections to where here Chris has a company, uh, a company. And, you know, they produce these vinyl figures. And it's like, that's awesome. You know, he's he's living a dream for sure. So anyway, that about does it with the header card. We're almost five minutes into this review and we have not yet touched the figure. So let's get straight on into it. Jiris looks awesome. Seismic Toys, Chris, you guys have an awesome sculpt. The mold. I love the colors too. The colors definitely pop on this guy. And let's just go straight on into it with paint applications. 
uh, Jiris here is, I believe the base is this uh, yellow, you know, translucent, you know, clear vinyl, but it is very glossy. It is very shiny and it just looks great. And then, of course, painted over that in areas, you have this very nice light metallic blue that just pops and just looks awesome. It just looks so shiny, so nice. And then, of course, you have some blacks worked into the vinyl up here around his frill. Teeth, very, very nice, very bright whites. Inside of the mouth, you have like an reddish orange. It's almost just like an orange, basically. Looks really nice. His eyes, very nice white with orange and then black pupils. Look very good. Of course, his claws on his hands and his feet is all that translucent, clear yellow vinyl. Looks really, really good. Same thing with the spines on the back. Looks very, very nice. Just beautiful colors on this guy. Beautiful colors on this guy. I even chimed in on that video that Nick did with Chris. And um, kind of like a wish list, uh, I shouted out. And they mentioned it in the video. Um, if Chris was to do any other Ultra Kaiju, um, if it was possible, we could see maybe Golza down the road. And I pretty much told him, you know, Golza is my favorite Ultraman Kaiju. And I would love to see Golza by Seismic Toys. And I even told him the color scheme that you could go with. Um, you know, it could be translucent with some metallics. But uh, my favorite colors are like purple, uh, like a neon green, and a black. So like those three colors worked into a vinyl Golza. And I told him, you can call it the Godzilla Fan Freaks variant. Um you know, that'd be kind of cool. So who knows? Uh, we might see that someday. But uh, we'll see what else they have in store. I'm not sure what their licensing uh, consists of or allows them to do. Um, but we will see what else we get from Seismic Toys. But they definitely kicked it off great here with Jiris. And, of course, they have other figures from the video game Dawn of the Monsters going on. So very, very awesome stuff. Next on, going on into detail, the sculpt just looks awesome. You even have like some muscle tone going on here. You know, Jiris has been working out a little bit. Granted, he's a little pudgy down here. Uh, he's not missing arm day by any means. Very nice muscle tone in the arms. Very, you know, flabby, you know, scaly kind of skin detail here in the chest and the belly. You know, you really see it more with the metallics. You get to see all that awesome detail just in the sculpt itself. It just looks great. Dorsal spikes look awesome. And of course, for those of you who don't or maybe don't know, uh, Jiris is basically, uh, he showed up in the original Ultraman series. And Subaraya had access to like Toho props and whatnot. So he actually ended up taking a Godzilla suit, attached a frill, a frill to it, and that was Jiris. And I believe the suit he took was the 66. I think it was the Sea Monster suit. And um, so that's the suit that Jiris is in the show. So if you look up Ultraman vs. Jiris on YouTube, if you haven't seen it yet, that's pretty much the closest thing we got to a Godzilla vs. Ultraman. But back to the sculpt here, hands and fingers and knuckles just look awesome. Claws, very nice and sharp, I must say. Teeth, nicely etched into the sculpt there. He's got a little bit of a tongue sculpted in there, but it's kind of hard to see, even with the lights that I got on. All the detailing in the face around the eyes just look great even the lip you know the lip line that looks good 
top of the head with the little bit of dorsal spikes that are up here. And then what I also did like is that, you know, the frill here is basically, he's all kind of like one, you know, one piece. And he designed him that way because if you know the episode, you can easily tell the frill was just like slapped on there and whatnot, but he didn't want that for this figure. Chris, Chris wanted it to look natural. And so it does look very awesome and, you know, natural as like one piece like that versus it being like a separate piece. It looks really, really good. All the detailing in the membranes and even the translucency in the vinyl really helps a lot of that pop. I mean, it just looks awesome. It just looks like a burst, you know, of like energy or like a sun. You go on to the back side. You still see all that awesome detailing in the mold. Again, dorsal spikes look great. Tail. Nice and pudgy, but it looks good. All the rings and everything. Feet, very, very awesome. You know, very three-toed, uh, Showa Godzilla, you know, that that is legit Showa Godzilla feet right there. On the bottom, there you have the Seismic Toys stamp logo. Over here, you have the Ultraman Subaraya Productions logo. And that about does it for detail, you guys. Just looks awesome all the way around. Next up, articulation. As you can already tell since I've been kind of moving them around, his arms do move, but only forwards and backwards ever so far because of the frill. Nothing in the head or the face. The legs can kick, I think. Oh, they do go 360, but then they pop out. But then just like that, popped right back in. See, that's why you don't like, that's why you don't do 360 all the time. At least that was easy to pop enough, uh, pop back in. Otherwise, I would have had to scrap this review and popped it back in and start it over. Anyway, so the legs kick forward. They do kick backward. But again, be mindful. Obviously, they pop out of the sockets if you go 360. The tail does have a joint, and that can rotate 360, no problem. So, you got the tail, the legs, and the arms. That about does it for articulation, you guys. Next on, we'll, we'll move on to scaling. I only got a few things to scale him with. But first off, let's scale him with a basic Ultraman Bandai. Here's my favorite Ultraman, Ultraman Tiga. He's basically the only Ultraman I have in my collection, uh, besides a few other kaiju. But there he is with a Bandai Tiga. So you can kind of see the scaling there. Pretty decent sized figure, you know. Uh, but he's going to look great on your shelf. He's definitely going to draw attention because of his colors and whatnot. Here he is with a basic 6-inch Godzilla Bandai. Looks good. You know, about the same size as Ultraman. And now I will scale him in with something that is more... Uh, how do you, how do you, how would I say it more in the lines of what this figure is kind of, you know, resembling. And, uh, here's a Marmont, uh, Godzilla 84. I believe this is Marmont. Yeah. Yeah. This is a Marmont. It's a, um, it's a diamond reissue Marmont though. It's not a, uh, original, but here he is with a Marmont 84. You know, they're more or less in the same scale. And they look pretty good together. So there he is with a Marmot 84. You know, that way you guys can see that and whatnot. And of course, you know, X Plus are going to be, you know, bigger and, and whatnot. But there he is just with your basic, you know, band eyes. 
and then something that's you know more in line with what this figure kind of is so that about does it you guys on this review of the ultraman vinyl odyssey jiris by seismic toys again go to www.seismictoys.com he has tons of different figures on there um, if you're lucky, he might still have a few of these guys left. Pick one up if you're interested. It's a great figure. It's a very special figure to have, though, too. You know, it's not done by your typical, um, you know, Japanese companies. You know, Marmont, Bullmark. You know, it's 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 something that's really special from basically a small local business here in America. And uh, so definitely support SeismicToys.com. Support Chris support his team they are awesome and they're just amazing for bringing us these figures getting the license and just having these special figures to show off in our collections it's just awesome anyway you guys that about does it for this figure review hope you enjoyed like always we are godzilla fan freaks please comment like and subscribe go check out godzilla fan freaks on facebook give it a like and a follow as well as don't forget to go check out Godzilla Fan Freaks on Instagram as well. Give that a like, follow, whatever it is on there. Uh, I post stuff on those platforms that you may not see here on the channel. Like some of you may have noticed too, look in the mirror. The room is, uh, the collection room is getting progress. I got LED lights strung, so it's kind of like the old days again. Um, I still have, a, I still have to get a few more strips to complete everything but again that collection video is coming i don't know when but it's just whenever i get everything done so thank you guys for your patience i know a good amount of you are looking forward to the collection video anyway you guys like always we are godzilla fan freaks and we will see you in the next video thank you for watching